Well, it's like uh, Tori said earlier, you know, with my situation, I was born into it and I carried my father's name. And like Joey said, it's in your DNA because believe me, I never tried to, to, to go in any of those directions and still on a daily basis, there's little pop ups in my browser, so to speak, that, you know, <laughs> come over this way. Do this. <laughs> And like in Joey and Nick's situation, I I would worry that I would have to cross that line one day and become one of those guys. Because if I knew who had hurt my father and someone had hurt him, I would have spent my last dying breath searching them down and making sure they paid for it one way or another. Um, right. so, so you have that fear in you that something's going to push you beyond what you can limit yourself to be. Mm -hmm. I mean... I never had to kill anyone. I never had to rat on anyone. Not that others did it because of their situations. I don't judge anyone until I walk in their shoes. But I have been approached. You know, I had an FBI guy, tell, a supervisor, tell me one time that uh, there was a contract on my life from one of the families in New York. And if I came over to them and told them everything I knew, they might could help me. <laughs> I said, come over to you. I'm selling <laughs> pasta, man. <laughs> You're the FBI. Yeah. You tell me what's going on here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, did, did, what was brother, the reaction? I think, oh, saw go on. So much, so much pain. You know, yes, he was dripping in diamonds. He had boats. He had money. He had women. He had anything you could possibly want while he was a free man. But 20 of his 80 years was spent behind bars. 20. There Damn. was no lobsters, there was no boats, there was no broad, there was none of that during those 20 years. So I wouldn't want to have had to pay that price to have, I don't have the money and the power and all the things that he may have had, but nobody tells me when to go to sleep or, you know, puts me in situations that I don't have to be in uh, because, because of that. But you're, you're, when you're born into it, you don't always have that choice. Is what I'm saying. I was gifted. I was lucky. God was, you know, angels were on my shoulders. So I managed to avoid it. But but uh, it, it, it's like Joe said, it, it follows you. I mean, you, you could be in Iowa in a corn cob field and there's going to yeah. be some Tony guy show up and, oh, yeah, hey, I knew your dad. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Everybody you know, knows somebody. Yeah. I got some All stuff the time, in the yeah. truck. It fell off the truck. Yeah, you need some TVs <laughs> or something. You know? <laughs> and when you are the son of one of those guys, all you got to do is mess up once. You know, I was lucky. I impersonated an IRS agent. I collected uh, thousands of dollars. I was like the mob boss of Miami Beach when I was 14. Right. <laughs> then a task force came down and stuck shotguns and 45s in my face, and they took me to jail with big boys who were going to prison. And I learned real quick that wasn't where I wanted to be. Uh, none of that money helped me out. Most of it went back to the people or the lawyers, and it was just a big aggravation. But it happened to me young, so I knew from then that I was not going to be cut out to be you know, with, with 23 notches in my gun belt, like other family members were supposed to have been. <laughs> yeah. Well, sometimes we just have to go through shit in order to get on the right track. You know what I mean? Hey, thanks for watching this clip. This clip came from one of my interviews I did in the past. Please hit subscribe if you want to get more clips like this. Also, if you want to watch the full interview, I'll put a link in the description. Or you can hit the button on the screen to watch the full interview.